Hello, YouTubers. This is Alpine Comic Books. I'm coming with you to another video. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I got 60, 60 subscribers, and uh, it's been a long haul. And thank you for all the people that view my videos and comment. And, um, you know, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. You don't have to worry about subscribing or liking it or just watch the video and enjoy it. No pressure. I'm not trying to sell you to get to subscribe. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's a different take than a lot of people, but whatever. So, um, a while back, I was listening to some YouTubers, and they were talking about Dark Hawk. I have a Dark Hawk run, but I came across a Dark Hawk run, and it's, of course, a newsstand. So, I bought a bunch of these issues, and I'm going to start with Dark Hawk and then go to some Silver Surfer, so... No muties this time. So that's this is Dark Hawk 14. I'd like to find 13 because uh 13 is also a venom issue, but uh you see my price sticker. I got them for a dollar ninety-nine. Uh that's a that's a fine price for a newsstand. I don't mind a dollar ninety-nine. So that's 14. And we're just gonna power through these. 15 uh, don't have 16, but I got 17, great black cover. I have 19, I mean 18. 19. Spider-Man crossover. 20. 21. 22, Gross Rider crossover, and 23, and this is 24, The Evil Dark Hawk, and this is a double for me, but it's a great cover, um, 25, so um, those are nice, and I didn't have these in newsstand. So I took them, now I don't have, uh, they didn't have uh, 26 to 29. So it starts again at 30. Now I'm going to stop here for a second and talk about these. From 30, I did a video and it's called 93 to 95 Marvel Apocalypse. And what happened is that a lot of their titles that weren't profitable in the mid-90s, before the movies, before Disney bought them out, they were having money problems. And a lot of these titles were slashed. If they weren't making profit or they were losing money on newsstand, they cut them. So Dark Hark was one of these titles. So this is issue 30. This is issue 31. Uh, this is issue 32. And I also believe... That when we're getting to the end of this run, the print run is very low. Um, there's 33, 34, I messed up here. 35, we're back to Venom again. 36, Venom, and 37. And 37 is the last newsstand issue. After this, 38 to 50 would be direct market only. I believe 35, 36, 37. The print runs are as low as the last three issues on the direct market series, 48, 49, and 50. So I believe these are very low print run uh, last issue. There's two last issues in Dark Hawk. Issue 50 for direct market and issue 37 for newsstands. So, very happy to have these last few issues. Um, this was behind it. I, I like this. So, I got uh, another 90 specialty cover. Uh, Sleepwalker 25 newsstand. Um You know, I'm really, um, when I see these 90s um, specialty covers in the newsstand, 
I pick them up. I think they're a great, great value. So that was basically from my local comic shop. Then I went out to this other comic shop a long way away. And um, I'm going to start with this issue. This is Silver Surfer 25. 125, I'm sorry. And this is a newsstand issue, the newsstand stickers in back. Now, the thing to know about this is I didn't know this till I got this book. Uh, this is issue 125. It's a newsstand. It's priced at $299. I have the direct market. The direct market is $295. So this is a newsstand price variant. And so are the next four, which I got and I couldn't believe. Um, 126. Uh, this is a cover price dollar ninety nine. Um, the newsstand is one ninety five. So they only did five issues that were price variants. Uh, one twenty five, one twenty six, one twenty seven, one twenty eight. And the last one I have this. This is a double. But I didn't know when I would be able to find it. It's cover price dollar ninety nine versus one ninety five. So uh, yeah, I could afford to get that. So um, those are the five price variants in the second run, or is it the third? Because they did that one shot with Burn um, cover price variants. Very hard books to find. Extremely happy to find them. And then these are also newsstand, but these are. Um, Toward the end of the issue. So this is 130, uh, 132, 133, uh, 134, 135, and these are all $199 cover price, so they're not new. They're not um Newsstand price variants. Uh, 136 did not have this book in my collection either as a newsstand or direct market. Was really happy to get it. And then I found this. Uh, Silver Surfer 143. Toward the end of the run. Uh, 146 is the last issue. So to find a newsstand, I was very happy to find all these. Um, I don't come across Silver Surfer newsstand very often. So now I got a few. Now these are uh, more Silver Surfer, but these are more toward the middle of the run. So what do I got here? I got 64. And I got these because basically they're newsstand. And I'm at 8 minutes. If I run out, sorry. So 64, 65, 66, 